What's up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I'm still quarantined and I'm watching Love and Hip Hop and I'm drinking a nice margarita. For an update from my last video, I ended up getting tested for COVID because my symptoms were just, after that video, I was just, it was awful. It was awful. So I, I got tested on base and that no swab, that easy little uncomfortable swab they say, no, I cried. Like, why are you crying? <laughs> Cried. So I'm waiting for my results now. I got tested on Wednesday and now it's Saturday. I haven't heard anything. Of course, I'm gonna call them on Monday, but that's beside the point. I just wanna let you guys know I'm still quarantined. I end up getting tested if you guys are wondering about that. But now, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're gonna talk about boobies they're not they still they don't really bounce like that okay but i'm officially one month post-op so i'm pretty happy about that um <clears throat> it hasn't I, I feel as if my recovery was very simple compared to the ones i see and i only say that because i was watching videos of course yesterday because i love watching my boobs because i love boobs and i keep seeing everyone they have the band or they do the massages. And I even, even um, emailed my doctor. I was like, hey, are you sure? Are you sure I don't need to be doing massages? He's like, no. I put it in the pocket. Just let it do what it does. And I was like, if I come out looking like, like this, he's going to hear from me. Okay, but yeah, working out. So I, I remember my uh, profile said four weeks, no exercise. So I had hit four weeks. On Tuesday of this week, I'm looking at my calendar. And so I said, okay, you know what? I officially hit four weeks, according to the doctor. Let me go ahead and try doing a push up. And I said, I did a push up and I got down and I just fell. I instantly fell. And my boyfriend, he was laughing at me, but it was really hard. Like doing push ups, like because I can like flex my boob like that, whenever I do push ups, my muscles tense up and like the boobs, they spread apart. And I'm like, oh gosh, I can't do this. So I tried for a good like 10 minutes. I finally got one push up down, but I need to do push ups because when I go to Hawaii and they're gonna maybe take a PT test and everything, I need to be able to still do PT. But you know, I'm quarantined, I'm just being a lazy ass and I need to work out or I need to at least prep my body to go back into the regular lifestyle of work. But I can't do a push up. Not, not the way I used to. I used to do 30, cause 30 for me, no, I think it would be, 42 would be maxing. Well, I would do 30 push-ups all the time. That's that's the number I'd stop at. But now I can only do one. And it's, it's, it's barely a one. It's barely a one. Let's see. Scarring and itching. I started itching, I think, a week. No, no, a couple days after that first video, uh, the two-week uh, post-op video. But I wasn't itching on the incision. I was itching around it. I guess, I guess you could say the incision, actually. You know, but I know they said... It, um, itching is, is gonna be a thing. Just like when people get BBLs, they itch in the area that they got the incisions, I noticed that. So the stitching area would itch a little bit, but I wouldn't scratch, I'd just like, like smack it like that because I was afraid that I would scratch it and like the incision would come out. Now scarring, I don't put anything on my scars. I know a lot of people, they put um, coconut oil or bio oil, I, I probably would, but I didn't put any on there because I still had the, um, the stitches in there and with me because I was so because after that one time I pulled the stitch I thought it was a piece of string or something or tape but I pulled it and it was actually the stitching I put back uh, tape I even asked my doctor he said it's fine go ahead and put back the tape if you want so I put the tape on uh, surgical tape on, on my scars and every two to three days because I shower then I would take it off and I could tell like little by little pieces of the stitches would come out I said okay that seems fine to me you know how it goes because it falling off regularly it's not gonna work because when it rubs on the bra, it's irritating. It rubs, it just rubs on everything. So um, I didn't put any anything on it. Now that the uh, last part of the incision, I mean the stitching came out and it came out because <laughs> I took off the tape off of both sides. And then, you know, the one I talked about, the long one that I thought was tape residue, it was stuck to my skin. So I said, okay, let me pull it off of my skin and then get the scissors to cut it so it's not that long. And I was pulling it off my skin and I did a slight tug, a slight tug, and the whole thing came out. But it didn't leave a scar. So I was like, you know what? Let me put back tape on it so that little wound or whatever's there can heal. But now that, um, I'll show you my scars 
uh, at the end of the video. But now that I have no stitching there at all, it's just healing, I can put the, I, I have bio oil and I have A&D and coconut oil. For some reason, I wanna use A&D because I've used it on my tattoos and I use it on everything and on my kid as well. So I'm probably just gonna use that. You guys tell me if, the, if that's good, but I mean, that's probably what I use. I can't find the bio oil actually, because I know that, that I had that for pregnancy. I never used it, but I had it for pregnancy for stretch marks, but right now I'm gonna use the A&D. Maybe some coconut oil, but most of all, because I'm looking at the A&D right now, I'll probably use the A&D. Showering. So, showering is not as fun as it used to be. For some reason, doesn't matter if the water's hot, mild, or cold, once the water touches my nipples, I cringe and I'm in pain. My nipples are extremely sensitive now. Some people I know lost sensation in there. It's mine, it's just, it's too sensitive. So when I go in the shower, I literally do like this. <laughs> I go like this, I shower, and when I soap up, I do like this, and soap, and I have like the bar soap, I put it on my hand, and then I like hand wash like this. But the nipples, and like when I come out the shower, I'll get baby wipes and I'll wipe around the nipple. Cause for some reason, the soap, it's fine on there. It's just washing it off is the hardest thing. And then I have my rag and I have my loofah, but it's like with the water touches my nipple, it just kills me. So I try my best to have the water not touch it. I don't know if that's disgusting, but I would still wipe it off with wipes or you know, whatever I have to do. But I would soap up everything, but just cover these and go in the shower. The water cannot touch it. And I keep the shower head on like the, the softest one. You know, it's not on jet or what. I think it's on stream. Cause I don't wanna put on mist. Is there a mist? That sounds nasty if I put it on mist, but I put it on stream, I think, but not jet. But I put it on the softest one they have and it still hurts my boobs and I don't like it at all. So I have to cover my nipples. I ho hopefully that, you know, gets better within time, but it just, it just sucks altogether. Sleeping. I now sleep, I don't sleep on my back anymore. I sleep on my side and my stomach. I don't stay on my stomach very long because I can see what you big titty females are talking about when you're on your stomach and you feel like you're suffocating or you feel tight because my boobs feel like they're up here. And I don't like that because I have, I'm have i taking shorter breaths and I feel as if I'm so uncomfortable. So I'll lay on my side, you know, or on my stomach's last side, I kind of, uh, angled a certain way I don't know but I don't I don't really fall asleep on my back it's mostly my side but on my stomach I that's one thing I miss when I was a flat titty female laying on my stomach anywhere on the floor on the couch in the back of a truck on the bed you know it was easy but now with these boobs and you know with the new um push-ups they have for the army you have to go all the way down to the ground like have your body touch the ground extend your arms out pull them back in and push back up. And I tried that after I did the regular push-up, I tried that push-up and when I laid down, I felt like I had two balloons right here and it was so uncomfortable. And I was like, how am I gonna do push-ups on concrete or cement with these damn titties? Maybe later on, it'll get better. Cause it's only been a month, but goodness, that shit hurt. And sleeping on a soft bed with soft firm, you know, on my stomach, I didn't like that at all, that shit. Was really bad so I guess it's time to show you guys how they look oh and I'll show you my scars as well so can I move this I can't move the chair I'll just hold on let me pull you guys back a little bit okay so I got some space okay so here they are one month I feel like they are like down they look like gosh I don't hold on I don't have any fucking space they look like they're down if you can see you know I have to look at the other video, but I've noticed that they are they are softer. They are a, a lot softer, and I can I can grab them and do whatever, you know. So that's how they look. I can still I can still flex that one. It's it's weird. I can't flex. You know, see how they, like when I do a push up, like they do that. They like they move like that, and it's weird. But um, let me show you the um, incisions on both. Hope I don't pop a nipple out. I can, so here's the incision on this one. This is how it looks. They look kind of weird looking, but of course you know. I'll uh, put some A and D or whatever on them. So here's this one. And let me show the other one. This is the one that had the stitching right here that I pulled out by accident. Um, you can kind of see it, so they don't hurt. They're really smooth, but of course they're gonna probably form to my, um, get to the same color as my, my skin later on, but let's pull it back up. 
there we go. Yeah, that's all I have to show. It's not much that's changed. I think the next video I'm gonna do is probably three months because doing it month to month, nothing's really gonna change. If something does change, I'll make a video earlier, but um, yeah, I'll just do a three month update and that's all. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later, okay? Bye.